Now, do you know your amaze balls from your bridezilla? Well, these are just a few new words added to the English dictionary last year, along with others including faff and Twitter sphere. Now, Suffolk One are attempting to make their mark by adding their own through their Jabberwocky project. My drive time producer Natasha Malcolm Brown has been talking to some of the students and staff involved in the project. She began by asking Lucia Aguila Gomez, English teacher at Suffolk One, what the project was all about. The Jabberwocky project was launched in December when we had Professor David Crystal, the guru of the English language, came in and、um, did some lectures for our students and also visiting students from schools around Suffolk. And、um, following his lecture, we launched the Jabberwocky project. Which was for the students and staff as、uh, one to come up with a brand new word that we would try and get into the English dictionary.、And、that's quite a big challenge, I should think. Yeah, it's taken us、uh, quite a few months, and luckily enough, I had a, a panel of students that came in to help us go through all of the entries. So we were able to whittle down the en-、um, entries. What was the reaction of the students like? Were they interested? Were they keen to get involved? The panel of students was formed mostly from English or English, lang- English language or English language and literature students,、um, and yeah, they were quite keen. And a few of them are going on to university to study English. Also, we had applications from a number of students and staff from one, and some of them were really creative and interesting and exciting. And it was quite fun to go through all the、uh, entries and decide which could be a possible word for the. Future in the English language. Can you give us a taste of some of the kind of entries that you had? Okay. Well, I'll share with you my favourite, which was "new me," and that explains the feeling of contentedness and well-being that you get when something is just right. If you imagine Goldilocks. New me. <laughs> new me. <laughs> Very nice. And any others? Yeah. Another one was.、Um, Clumsy, which was another favourite,、um, to try to contain your laughter when seeing someone fall over. <laughs> <laughs> that is very hard. <laughs> yeah. And I understand that you've been they've been voting and you've finally come to a decision and chosen the word that you're going to try and pitch. Can you reveal what the word is? Yes, the word that was voted as the winner was memphoric. Memphoric.、Um, What does that memphoric. mean? It means the inability to transfer a memory into words. And are you quite confident that you're going to to get this entry into the dictionary? Oh well, I think、um, words that appear in the、uh, English dictionary can take years to become standardised. So we'll have a go, and we're relying on the general public out there to use that word. So. You know, it can be accepted in the English language, but I think it will take a number of years for it to be successfully entered into the English dictionary. But a lovely way to look at the language that we use all the time, Lucia. Thank you very much for talking to me. So we've just heard from Lucia there, and she's passed us on to the winner, Madison Strauss. Now, Madison, you you came up with the winning word. How do you feel about that?、Uh, excited, ecstatic, might I say? <laughs> Now, just tell us about your word. What was it, and how did you come up with it, and what does it mean? It's memphoric, which means the inability to transfer memory into words. And basically, all my life I've been travelling around, and I've always wanted to express a memory to my friends, but it's just not as good as it appears when I say. So I've been thinking of the word for a while, and the Jabberwocky project has just allowed me to really make it into a word and get it out there, and hopefully into the dictionary. And how confident do you feel about getting it into the dictionary? Are you quite hopeful? Yeah, I am. I hope to, in about five years' time, hopefully open up a dictionary and say that's my word. We wish them well. That's some contributions to this program from Suffolk One. The very best of luck to them in realising that goal of adding their very own word to the English dictionary.